Hi, I'm Lance. And I'm Joe. And we're the SAR guys. What are we going to talk about today, Lance? Well, we, we've talked a lot about the motorcycles, and it seems to be a great uh, topic for everybody. And so we wanted to talk about one last thing that we haven't really talked about in depth, and that's the tools that we carry on a motorcycle. As always, I like to have bags. Um, this big bag actually came in the waterproof bag that, that we carry on the motorcycle. Uh, I'll probably be changing that out into one of those rolls or make a roll for my tools. But right off the bat, uh, I like to make sure that I have stuff to uh, take care of a flat tire. And so mine, both of our bikes have tubes in it. And so we make sure that we have a tubeless or a tube uh, tire repair kit. And then we have a way to be able to pump, up, pump it up. And so I use a CO2 type of a system. And I know, Joe, you have the slime system uh, or the slime pump uh on his bike right, right? Well, yeah and i'll talk about that after a okay. little bit here i have just kind of a multi-use uh t-wrench that that helps me and then i just put uh, a few different sockets that are on there to be able to be used that are common with my motorcycle i listened to a video one time and a guy said you know what sometimes you need extra wire uh because you have i mean i've my first motorcycle it burnt up because of an electrical issue and so it made sense to me hey, I'm going to have a little bit of extra wire, and it's just small gauge wire and some um, electrical tape. I have the honking tire irons, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm jealous of Joe because he got the nice ones. I think I'm going to upgrade. Uh, but these were like 20 bucks off of Amazon. I wanted to see if I could change my own tire and found out that it was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, I have a whole set, I think of three or four, but I really don't need that many. So I just carry one wheel sa saver. Oh, I uh, thought that was a pull starter for your motorcycle. You know, every started. now and then, you just <laughs> never know. Uh, but some people are more cautious about those things. I'm really not, I, I use it or I don't use it. It really doesn't bother me. Then have a basic tool set. Some of it has come on old motorcycles of mine and others i've just added to it because it's specific for this motorcycle uh, i wanted to make sure i had big enough long enough wrenches to be able to change my tires and so i had some old cheap uh tools that i threw in there works real good and then i think it's always good to have you know crescent wrenches um, pliers and just miscellaneous um, allen wrenches that you know that fit your motorcycle so Joe and I, we both ride TW200s, uh, so hopefully, if I've done this right, uh, we should have an Allen wrench for every Allen bolt that's on here that might go bad uh, if we're out in the woods. And I've got some miscellaneous stuff that I could probably weed out, but it just came in the kit. And so um, that's the kit I have. I don't, I don't want too much. I have mechanics in my background, and I really want to load up more. Uh, but I've tried to figure out how to condense it to be as light as possible and to know that if there is an issue that I should be able to address the issue at least to get me back to the truck. Mine is homemade. Uh, I've, I've kind of slapped stuff together of things that I had or, or things that I've purchased just a little bit. Joe went a little bit different route. Well, uh, I yeah. did that because you kind of shamed me into it a few <laughs> videos ago. Uh, we were talking. I don't know and, about that. Shamed is kind of a hard word. <laughs> well, I was pretty embarrassed. Let's put it that way. And then, then Lance had tools and all this, and I, I really did. I had a crescent wrench and a pair of pliers and a screwdriver, <laughs> and that was it. And so I got to thinking, okay, I better, I better beef things up. So I did get a. I bought a, a patch kit, mm -hmm. and um, of course, with the patch kit, then you know you got to get the tube out somehow. So uh, Lance talked me into getting uh, these. Uh, this know, is the direction I should have went. Yeah, these are the uh, bead pros. Yeah, the bead pro, and they're they're pretty pretty nice rigs here. Um, I haven't used them yet. I'm I, I'm I'm actually want to try because you know, they look. I've changed hundreds of bicycle tube tires yeah. and punctured tubes and done yeah. all kinds of things and never had anything like this before. So uh, that was good. I I like those. And then I I started to put together a kit like you did, and um, I started pricing stuff out. And it was like you know I could buy this cruise tools kit i got it on am or actually i got this on rocky mountain atv mm -hmm. and i think it was 69 dollars or something 
Uh, I did get a nice kit for it, but, um, and it is compact. Well, you can make yours compact too. Yeah. Uh, so we got that. And then for a, a pump, I got the slime pump. I watched um, uh, As the Magpie Flies, and uh, she talked about um, this uh, slime pump and, and, and how she had, went on rides with other people and she was constantly using it, you know, because they didn't, they were trying to use the CO2 or different things. And uh, I now just, he's trying to shame me. well, I watched the video and I thought, you know, this thing is, it's, it's uh, got a pressure pump on it. It just hooks onto your, uh, it's got, a, yeah. it hooks into your cigarette lighter right to your battery, however you want to do that. And it's not very heavy, it's compact. And so if I put my stuff in a pile, it, it's probably similar to your pile right there. And I just carry it in a, a little tool bag, yep. depending on what on what kind of riding we're doing. Absolutely. So. I think the important thing is, is that you have to know your bike and know the tools that your bike requires. Because these uh, patch kits, they don't really do all that great. If you're riding a bike that has um, a tubeless tire, if you have a tubeless tire, it's a totally different way. You need to get the plugs and the and and all that that's required in that. So know your bike. And I was surprised the first time I got a flat tire, and I'm like, hmm, I have nothing to fix it because I had a different type of flat or uh, uh, kit to be able to repair it. And so that made me think, wait a second, I got to do something different. Right. So right. Uh, know your bike yeah. and uh, know the limitations that you have. And carry some tools with you. Absolutely. You never know when you're going to need it. So. All right. Well, we'll see you out on the trail. Have a great one.